Please welcome Sarah. <laughs> with my friend Sal from Brisbane, Australia, who just moved to New York. I'm joined now by Human Resources Specialist Sue Ellen Watts. Sue Ellen, good morning to you. We've got all these incredible people walking around every day with amazing ideas or amazing gifts and talents or stories, and we're not sharing that. We're afraid. We're afraid of what people think. We're afraid that we're going to fail. And all of that stuff doesn't, ma like, doesn't mean anything. That was incredible. I looked at everything in my life that I You've got one life, you know, and I really believe that life is, is too long to not be doing what you want to do, and life is too short to not do what you want to do. If I could quit my job right now, I wouldn't go work for her. I've said numerous times, this is the best time to be in business. You know, there's so much available to us, and I, I, I love it. I've just watched so many people in my life that have so much more potential than what they, what they can see, and that, that breaks my heart. There are a number of reasons why there could be hostility in the workplace. It could be a clash of personalities, it could be situations where someone's been promoted over another person, or a lot of the time it's about miscommunications. I also jumped off the um, second tallest bungee, the same thing, I was having all these business issues and life issues, so I thought, I'll write them all down and then I'll jump and I'll let go of the piece of paper. And so that's what I did. <laughs> and, I was, and, and I was like, and then like my mates go, I can't believe you littered in New Zealand. And I was like, oh my God, I'm, this is not about me littering. Yes, there are a lot, lots of goals that I haven't achieved or, or targets that I haven't met. But what do you choose to make this mean is probably what I say to myself every day. What are you going to choose to make this mean? Leadership is hard, not because of how much work goes into managing people. It's hard because of how much work we need to put into managing ourselves. What I'm going to focus on today is increasing performance. That's what we want to look at. How do we actually increase the performance of the people within your team? Well, this lady really knows how to get teams to work in extraordinary ways. Sue Ellen Watts really is extraordinary on stage and, most importantly, in life. I love superheroes, but it's only been a recent love and it's not because I have young children. I listen to a lot of podcasts by very influential business people and entrepreneurs and I'm intrigued at the moment of the theme around the discussion of superheroes and how as business leaders and entrepreneurs we can learn from superheroes. I think that we all feel that we're so busy and we've got so much work to do that taking a day off is just going to mean that we're going to come back to work with a pile more work. Well, I wish I was surprised, but unfortunately I'm not. And um, it is a huge issue and we're hearing so much about it in the media at the moment. And I think that we all think that we're actually moving forward in this area. And Tim, I don't think we are, which is really, really disappointing. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to disrupt you today. Okay, so you ready? It's going to be disruptive. 50 minutes, I need you to all stand up. And so I've always had this philosophy of that, you know, no, no plan B. If there's no plan B, then you've got to make it work. 